nice right now. I think we're gonna get out of here before the next cell hits. We're trying to head from Albuquerque, New Mexico, up to Telluride, Colorado, but uh, the weather's been a little tricky. It's hailing a little bit right now, it's raining a little bit, kind of windy, and there's another big cell on the way. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop, thanks out of cutter, join Kilo, golf, short of Charlie. Okay, so we got rain in all directions, but it's clear over the airport. So we're gonna get out, get beyond Albuquerque, and then we will figure out our next moves from there. So yeah, we got about five or six hours of gas, so we can do a lot of cool figuring out here. So we're gonna hold short for Southwest. Central aircraft, Albuquerque, confirmation, uh, Kilo is now current. Three eighties since yeah. we started. Since we started that, I, mean, I guess if we get in the air and it looks like it's just clear to stay under that way, yeah, that might be the better option. But I mean, I see holes everywhere down there too. Right. So we'll just we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Bonanza three six seven Hotel Pop Albuquerque Tower. Wind calm. Turn left heading two six zero runway three at Fox Trot three. Clear for takeoff. Okay, we got seventy nine percent horsepower here at. Albuquerque Tower, wind calm, runway 3, clear to land. Good land, runway 3, 78. Amanda 7, Hotel Pop, contact departure. 7, Hotel Pop, good departure, good day. So I'm thinking, let's just go straight towards that hole, kind of straight ahead there. Yeah, I see it. And then let's see what we see on top. We're like in a bowl. Runway 35, 13, just right trying to now. maintain. Yeah, we might just be having fun right now. Yeah, I guess this would be a good opportunity uh, traffic heavy to introduce Owen. So this is Owen. Oh God, that's loud. So this is Owen. You might know him uh, from Instagram as SJC Spotter, but he's not a spotter. Not a spotter anymore. Those were the good old days. Just a pilot. I'm an 18 year old pilot and uh, I'm a fellow Bonanza driver. I'm from San Jose, California, and I flew out to hang out with Matt for a couple days. We're gonna have some pretty epic adventures. So look forward to look forward to sharing that with you guys. Okay, let's try 13 and see what that looks like. Sure. Obviously, we're not gonna stay there all day, but so the other option is we can just go way south. That's all shown VFR right now. It's just a really long ways out of the way. The highest portions should be about like this stuff, because that's where the intense precip is. Let's see what it looks like when we kind of get around this corner here. How you doing? How you feeling? Good. You? Yeah, good. Got some snow down there. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't know, we're reaching a dead end. <laughs> yeah, that didn't, that didn't really pan out. <laughs> Not quite. We're so close. I know, right? Uh, 797 off three, departure rate of contact, climbing to one five thousand, one able to direct Zuni. It'd be really nice if the Apple Watch could do oxygen in addition to Let's just keep going this way for a little bit and let's sure. let's see what happens. Because we're not 15 minutes into this stuff, so we can always back out. Yeah, I think we'll make a, a 180 here. Roger. We go 150 miles south, then everything's VFR, and then we just go around it. Oh, the terrain's pretty high up here. Okay, so we were a little defeated. We were looking great, we made it, we had like another 50 miles to go on top, and then we'd have been out of, beyond the clouds, but uh, cloud, type, cloud tops just kept increasing, it just wasn't working out. So we're gonna go back this way, and just go about three hours, take the long way to tell you right. We'll stay on this heading for about another 
10 or 15 miles, and then the train should be no more than about six. So have you already explained like what we're doing this week? Kind of. We're basically just flying all around the American Southwest, checking out some of the, basically the most unique, interesting airports in the country. And so today we're headed to really the first one of those, or just Telluride. It's this pretty famous uh, ski resort in Colorado. The airport elevation is like 9,000 feet, it's kind of nestled in between a bunch of mountains. So it's, it's a pretty unique, scenic approach. A little bit of a challenge, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Right now, the, the big challenge is just getting there. Heading in that direction. Heading in that direction. We're in New Mexico and we're going south to get to Colorado. We've got 15 miles on everything that we're painting out here. It looks like it sounds like hail. It's a one hour that flight. Turned into a five hour flight. 0367 Hotel Papo. Save type aircraft and destination again. Uh, we're Bravo Echo 36 Slant Golf, and uh, we're actually going to Kilo Sierra Oscar Whiskey, but we're routing via Silver City uh, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa. 7 Hotel Papa, right. So you're going to Sholo via direct down over Silver City before you head back to the west? That's affirmative. Okay. But yeah, so basically there's weather all up in run. here, low ceilings, so, so this is where all the VFR stuff is. Um, so we're going to go down We'd here like to put, so uh, we'll probably stop in, on request, uh, what is it, Sholo, Sholo, for gas, for and right to eat, something like that, and we'll go from there up to Telluride. Still just avoiding these little scattered showers here and there, but for the most part it's just nice clear desert. Come out of an old west movie. It's like, you know, like when the first European explorers arrived here, you know, a few hundred years ago. This is exactly what this looked like. Which is just crazy to think about. It's also crazy to think about like traversing this on like foot and horseback. Oh, I know. When it when we're going, you know, 140 know, knots, are. and it still feels slow. Yeah. Just so expansive. So what do you think? Three three six five. Are we gonna go around this mountain and turn, or? I think so, because I mean we're getting there's like you know lots of precip in there, so yeah. I don't know that shooting that gap is gonna be a great no. idea. This is going to put us in higher terrain with low ceilings. I think the the easy option at this point is just go this way. I think we tried our one shortcut for today. I agree. So on your on your uh, around the world flight, did you encounter weather like that, or you were like, I got to turn around and figure something else out? Or oh yeah, I mean, uh, flying out over the ocean because you don't even. Have, I mean, you have no information about oh, what's yeah. out there. Yeah. So it's you know it's a big line of thunderstorms. It's like well. It looks like that's blue right, behind that. Let's go try it, and you might get like 100 miles, and then it's like, nope, that's not worth it. We're turn around and fly 100 miles back, and go another way to you know, get around the weather. Like, what if you keep going back and forth, and then eventually you don't have enough fuel to make it to Well, I mean, so you have to constantly be watching that. Right. Um, you know, know where else you can land. Your flight controls. My controls. Your flight controls. Yeah, it looks like the weather's improving, like, 1 o'clock. Right. So we should be able to cut over soon, just like we planned here. Yeah. Well, Sholo is literally directly that way. But maybe we should go, you think you want to still go around, out and around? Um, I mean, the question is, like, what is it going to be like over there, you know? Yeah. Um, because the train's a little higher, too. Than it is, yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking this is probably our best bet. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty deep. I mean, just look at the different colors of the layers. Right. That's, that's incredible. So we won't hit any terrain until, or for the next 20 minutes. Okay. So right now we're 3,300 above the ground. Okay, right. looks like we're probably gonna hit a dead end up here. Yeah. So I think let's get through this and we'll Weaver. probably, yeah, probably route towards that way. We um, got options in every direction right now. Right. Now this turned into a pretty challenging flight here. I was not expecting this. Yeah. I did not think that Albuquerque right, yeah, was gonna be the place that was. Right. So yeah, so that's not looking great straight ahead, but I think this direction-ish. What about two o'clock? Two o'clock, I just don't see anything beyond that. I mean, you know? I see some terrain way out there, but. But I mean, that's right right where all this snow is, yeah. and where that two of the snow is. So I, I think we, we gotta go further this way, it's just a question of how far. Okay. And do we go this way, or do we go back where we came and then around? Right. United 1797, contact Albuquerque Center 125. Yeah, so I mean, normally figuring it out as you go isn't like, you know, the best 
option. But here the weather's just changing so much and there's so little information that we're just making sure that at any point in time we know what our options are, but we're gonna kind of press onward and you know, see if we can make this work. Got some nice little rain showers, snow flurries, and traffic like that. clock. Oh, Two zero miles here. off the direction. What do you think of that? I see what you're looking at. Yeah, I like it. My girlfriend wants to FaceTime. <laughs> see what happens. No, Owen's flying. Empire nine nine. She says hi. I thought we were like an hour away, like an hour ago. I know. This is epic. Okay, we're live. We're buzzing around, uh, I think we're in Arizona now. Kind of just dodging some precipitation and clouds Slam. all over the place. I'm gonna go this way and instead, this is close enough. I think, I think stay with, stay with this, because this so. is just rain, this isn't a cloud. Okay. So we've still got the visibility here. Um, getting some nice rain right here. But that's cloud over there. So, yeah, we're staying out of the clouds and just getting some nice rain on the windshield right snow. now. Um, Look at this. It might be... I think it's just... Uh, Air shuttle 5803, kind of like center one or something. But it's something four. too crazy. Four, shut off that might be a little bit of hail. There's some, some blue skies in the distance over there. But I think once we get past this next little... These rain showers right here, uh, we're going to be just golden. We're flying along at 7700. Kind of Make sure we always have a, a backup option. And figuring out how to make this work, how to get to Telluride tonight. Going to check out this awesome hotel there. But we're just VFR right now because out here the terrain is too high, the clouds are too high, um, you know, the temperature is too low. So we can't really go IFR because of icing. Right now we've still got about three hours of fuel. So we got all this precip off to the right here. And so we're just trying to circumnavigate that. Yeah, so the Good. weather at is going to be great. We just have to get around this precip. So yeah, it looks like in basically a few minutes exactly we what should we be. thought. And we're starting to see a little bit of a clearing out there now. Center has gone, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa is uh, 7,000 trucking along. 367 Hotel Papa, Albuquerque Center, Roger, good afternoon. It looks like they're heading pretty good. Um, probably about 25 miles, 30 miles or so for it. Looks clear on um, my depiction for solo after that point. Hey, good afternoon. We we see a gap just off our one o'clock. We're we're gonna shoot for. We got the weather for Sholo, and it, it's looking pretty good. So we'll keep you updated. Here. This guy. <laughs> well, this this scenery is just gorgeous. Yeah, this is just epic out here. We're figuring it out as we go because we we're very limited on weather information out here. So we just know you know we've, we've got as much info as we can. We always know make sure that we have a, a backup and. You know, don't back ourselves into a corner. Always have to have a plan B and know what your plan B is. But you want me to shoot this gap to right toward the airport? Uh, no, let's go this way because we got a little lower terrain there, so that'll be a little better. Roger. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we got oh, some these cool canyons, canyons up here. Like, cow. oh my God, this is this is crazy. And for those of you watching this on the vlog later, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check it out. You get to watch this stuff live instead of, you know, a couple weeks later in much better quality. But it's still really cool to watch it live. So follow me on Instagram, at Matt Guthmiller. We totally weren't expecting to... Well, I mean, we weren't expecting to be in to Arizona, period. That's true. But here we are. It's the cool part about flying. Like, you end up in places that you just never expect. I would never see any other way, you know, it would never end up there. Like, I have no idea what this canyon is, we'll probably figure it out later. But yeah, wow, this is so cool, okay. We could probably head back to the right now. So we got this canyon over here. We're gonna head on over to Sholo. I'm gonna go around this. Yeah, let's go around that. Left or there. right? I'd say right. Yeah, I think right. Yeah, so we got a little bit more precip right here. We're gonna go to the right around that. And then head on over into Sholo. Yeah, we're getting some snow right here. Temperature is positive five, so we're good on icing. Is that snow or that's the? No, it's hard to tell. That's maybe a little bit of hail, but some sleet. Maybe I can get a little more of that. Yeah, seven to twelve. We're at seven thousand five hundred. Seven hundred twelve. Roger. Probably won't pick back up before solo there. I do not observe any other aircraft. Radar systems with tonight. Block twelve hundred. We'll talk to you next time. Seven hundred twelve. Thank you. Yeah, that's the awesome thing about flying with you know, this panel for flight. There's so much information at your fingertips all the time that you can do something like this, you know, not really have a good idea of what the weather's going to be like because that information just doesn't exist, but be able to have the flexibility to just, you know, pick your options as you go and explore some awesome, awesome places like this. Was it Sholo, right? 
Yeah, it's such a, it sounds like something like a rapper or something. <laughs> Solo traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is 1-8 to the southwest, going to be straight in, uh, runway 3, Solo. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much epicness right here. <laughs> like, this is just insane. Epicness is a good word. This is nice, I just got an alert from 4 Flight. Your flight plan is still active and will be considered overdue for arrival within 10 minutes. Please amend to close our contact flight services. We'll be on the ground in about 2.5, so we'll close it as soon as we land. There we go, one notch of flaps, gears 3, green. Make sure it's going to be good for now, not going to touch that. We'll bring the prop full forward to get closer. Turn the last notch of flaps, bring the power out. No hands, it just flies the approach pretty well on its own. And a little nose up trim as we slow. Money. Now, where are the fuel pumps? <sighs> so, fast, so I can stop something, trim and stuff for takeoff. Okay, so we'll get some fuel and head off to tell you right. Snow here in Cholo. Go to tell you right. Let's do it, baby. Find some more snow that's already on the ground. Cholo traffic begins at 700 top off and starting runway 6. Cholo. A left crosswind. Fly right into that snow there off the end of the runway and take a left turn towards clear skies towards tell you right. Also, there's a thousand feet. We need just. I rotated a little late there, but we need just over a thousand feet right here at 6,400. Pretty much standard conditions. Now we'll turn away from the snow. Sholo traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is departing to the uh, north, Sholo, Sholo. Nice big bushes in the desert. And we're off and running to Telluride. Awesome. Wow, it is deteriorating behind us. Yeah, got out of there just in time. Yeah. Yeah, how long did that flight end up being? Like three over, and a half hours? Yeah, just over three and a half. And now we're the same distance from Telluride as we started. Pretty much. It's insane. But, you know, sometimes that's just the way it is with weather. Usually there's a way you can make it work. If there's not, then you just sit on the ground somewhere. But So far we totally figured out how to make it work. Yeah, we made it work. We got beautiful weather now that we got past all oh, of the know. other weather. Three six seven hotel Papa contact Denver Center one one eight point five. Have a good day. 
Denver, 11857, Kansas, 7 Hotel, Pompeii. So nice to find maybe right in Denver uh, center's away from Albuquerque, just yeah. in every sense. <laughs> We went almost down to the Mexican border. Dude, that was insane. And uh, over to Arizona, that's crazy. Wow, check out those mountains. Insane. So we're gonna go kind of just past that mountain, I think, and then- uh, I believe so. Right. Yeah, so that, that mountain there is Lone Cone. Okay. It's 12,600 feet. Same. We'll go just around that, and then it's basically like a straight shot into Telluride. So the preferred approach in here is runway 9, because so that takes you sort of in towards these mountains. Um, we were thinking we were going to have to kind of cut it in close and come in 2-7. Uh, just because of the wind, but it looks like the wind's died down a bit. So uh, if it stays like that, we'll just land runway 9. If we don't like that, we can always just go around a little bit and land runway 27. Tell you right, traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pomp is uh, about 1.5 miles west. and be straight in runway 9 or tell you right. Okay, so right now we're at 11,500 feet. The airport's at 9,000 feet. So obviously a couple things, you know, we're landing at 9,000 feet. That's pretty high. Uh, full power is probably in the neighborhood of like 70% power because we're at full throttle right now and so we could go a few hundred more RPM. So there's some things to keep in mind, like especially with a go around. Oh, I see the runway there. Straight ahead. Yep. Um, wow, this is so cool. So uh, especially like with a go around, you know, uh, usually you think of flaps as sort of you know, helping you climb better or something. And up here, uh, what they really do is they add a lot of drag so you don't have as much excess power available. So you might not want to use full flaps, for instance, or you know, to go around, it's really important that you get the flaps up uh, right away, clear, clear up that drag, because you really don't have a lot of, of excess thrust or excess power right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw the gear down. We got three green. Bye. This is just spectacular. And of course, the other thing is, is you may wanna, probably don't want to go full mixture, full rich mixture either. Wow, and these mountains over here, it is all just so spectacular. Yeah, so I'm gonna stick with approach flaps for this. Of course, it's up on a plateau, so we gotta be careful for any wind shear, updrafts, downdrafts, that kind of thing. Right now, the wind's straight off our left at 14 knots. I think this should be should work really nicely. Go ahead and put the uh, prop full forward so we're ready. We can go around or if we get some gusts here. Coming over this plateau. Pretty stable here on power and speed. Oh, you're looking great. Just a tiny bit fast, but we got a lot of runway here. Wow. We made it to Telluride. It was quite the day. It was supposed to be about a two hour flight up here. Instead it was a three and a half hour flight and then a two hour flight. But I mean, these views are spectacular. I have i don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like this in my entire life. And it's just incredible. So now we're gonna check out the Mountain Lodge Telluride, an epic hotel. We're gonna explore the area find some good food because we haven't eaten all day and uh, it's epic it's amazing I don't even know what to say
here at the Mountain Lodge Telluride. Uh, it's been fantastic so far. We're getting a bite to eat for breakfast. We're gonna check out the hot tub, explore a little bit around the area. They've been nice enough to host us and it's just been fantastic. Uh, we're gonna ride the gondola again in the daytime. Go check out more of Mountain Village, yeah. Telluride, see everything, and then take off and head to Las Vegas. down the mountain into Telluride proper. Uh, check that out a bit. It's, it's a pretty incredible place. You know, it's one of the top ski resorts in the country. It's where Butch Cassidy robbed his first bank. It's the first city in the world to have AC power. And so we're gonna go check it out and explore a bit. Okay, so we just had an awesome time in Telluride. It's this awesome, world-famous ski resort. We had a great time at the Mountain Lodge. The room was fantastic, food was great, people were awesome, uh, got to explore the town a little bit. Just tons of history here. I would love to come back and just spend a week, uh, but now we're off to Vegas.